In this problem, we're given a quadratic equation, y equals 4 minus x squared. The graph would be a parabola, and we're going to inscribe a rectangle in the parabola with the base of the rectangle being on the x-axis and the upper corners of the rectangle on the parabola. So it might be helpful to start by graphing the quadratic equation y equals 4 minus x squared. So here's a graph of y equals 4 minus x squared. Now we need to find the dimensions of the rectangle that we're going to inscribe in the parabola that would give us a rectangle with greatest possible area. So let me point out that there's many ways you can inscribe a rectangle whose base lies along the x-axis and upper corners on the parabola. So for example, suppose that the upper left corner of the rectangle was here and the upper right part of the rectangle is here. If I was to draw a rectangle whose upper corners are points on the parabola and its base lying along the x-axis, that would look like this. Once you do that, you can calculate the area of that rectangle. But compare that with a different rectangle, say one whose upper corners are these two points on the parabola. And if I drew that rectangle, again making its base lie along the x-axis, and upper corners are points on the parabola, you would get a different rectangle. And the area of this new rectangle, which is wider and shorter, the green one, it would have a different area than the blue. So we can continue this process drawing many different rectangles. And the idea is we need to find the rectangle that has the greatest possible area. So let me just use this rectangle that I drew to represent a random inscribed rectangle. And let me point out what would be true for any such rectangle that you drew. Given that the upper right corner is a point on the parabola, I could label this point x comma y, but since y was given to be four minus x squared, I could use four minus x squared as the y value of that point. So I'm gonna write four minus x squared here rather than y. And both of these coordinates, x and four minus x squared, tell me something about the dimensions of the rectangle. An x value of a point tells you the distance from the y-axis. So this distance right here would be x, and the y value of a point, in this case 4 minus x squared, always gives you the height of the point above the x-axis. So that would be this dimension right here. That would be 4 minus x squared. Since I'm trying to find the rectangle with greatest possible area, it makes sense to write an equation for the area of this rectangle. So the area of a rectangle is length times width. So we have area is length times width. I'm going to arbitrarily say that this distance right here between the two points on the parabola will be the length of the rectangle. So I'm gonna let the distance between this point and this point be the letter L. That's the length of my rectangle. And notice the length of my rectangle would be twice the X value. Right, X represents this distance right here but because this parabola has some symmetry, it's not only the case that this distance is x, it's also the case that this distance is x. So the total length L would be x plus x or 2x. So in my area formula, I'm gonna replace L with 2x. Now it's just going to be a matter of replacing the width with some algebraic expression that has the variable x in it. So the width of my rectangle, I was letting be what most people would call the height. And I already said that the y value of that point would give you the height that the point is above the x-axis. That's what I'm calling the width of the rectangle, and that was given to be 4 minus x squared. So now that I have my area formula, I can find the x value that gives me the maximum area. To find the maximum area, I'm going to use my graph and calculator. So on the graph and calculator, I'm going to press y equals, type in 2x, parentheses for subtract x squared. Now I'm going to set up my window by pressing the window key, and I'm in a standard window that has my x min and x max going from negative 10 to 10. If you remember what x is in my problem, x is half of the length of my rectangle. And if you look at the picture, it looks like the widest rectangle you could draw would be from negative two to two, because remember that the base of my rectangle has to be lying along the x-axis. So I would think x equals negative two to two would be a good x min and x max. So I'm changing my x min and x max from negative two to two. Now remember the output of my function is area. So my y min of negative 10 doesn't make sense because area can't be negative. You can leave it at negative 10, but I'm gonna change it to zero. 
Now, what's the biggest possible area that I could find? Well, I don't know. That's the question and the problem. So to get an idea just how much area a rectangle could have in this situation, imagine just exaggerating and drawing one big rectangle, which is outside the parabola, which is way more than what you could get, given that the rectangle is inscribed inside the parabola. Notice that this dimension is four units. I can see it right here on the y-axis. And we already said that the base of the rectangle has to lie along the x-axis. Say from negative 2 to 2 would be the extreme, since the corners of the rectangle have to lie in the parabola. And those x values are negative 2 and 2. So that means this dimension would also be 4. So since 4 times 4 is 16, I'm just going to say that our answer must be smaller than 16. Now I'm going to press graph. So this graph makes sense. I can definitely see a maximum. And I'm going to find the maximum on my area function by using the full accuracy of my calculator by pressing second, trace, and using the max feature, which is number four. You can either scroll down and press enter or just press four on the keypad. You need to specify an interval for which the calculator will look in to find the maximum. Since my window was set up with a x min and x max of negative two and two, we could make a left bound at negative two. I just typed it, pressed enter, and a right bound would be positive two, press enter. That tells the calculator to find the maximum between those extreme values indicated by these vertical dashed blue lines. The calculator wants you to enter a guess. It turns out you can just press enter to enter a really bad guess and you'll still get the answer using the full accuracy of your calculator. I'm getting that if x is 1.155 roughly, we will get a maximum area of about 6.158 square units. It's important to point out that this x value I just found, 1.1547, is neither of the dimensions given in the problem. The dimensions of the rectangle were such that the length was actually 2x and the width was 4 minus x squared. So when it says what are the dimensions of the rectangle, we need to find the values of 2x and 4 minus x squared. I'm going to go back to my calculator and point out that since I'm still at that location on the graph, if I hit second quit, Notice if I just press X and enter, the calculator has that number stored into X on the home screen of my calculator. Meaning if I just type 2X, that will give me what we call the length of the rectangle. And if I type in 4 subtract X squared, that will give me the other dimension of the rectangle, which we denoted as its width. So it's looking like to four decimal places, the length is about 2.3094. And what we call the width is about 2.6667. So that was length 2.3094 and width approximately 2.6667. And that gives us the answer to four decimal places.